watching the station covering all of the DMV. DC News Now continues. Good morning. That fog is thick in DC. This should be the National Cathedral. Typically we can actually see it. We can't even make out the outline of it on this live camera from our rooftop camera here in Georgetown. So again, fog is very dense, especially in DC. We're also seeing this in Hagerstown as well. Low visibility out in the distance there down about a mile or less or right around Hagerstown right now. We're also seeing that in Frederick, two miles Leesburg, about a mile in Manassas in DC reporting two miles of visibility. Also seeing that over towards Winchester, about a mile or less farther off towards in north and west over towards the mountains. Annapolis, you're talking about two miles of visibility. Far south you go. Fredericksburg, Culpeper, Lexington Park. We're not seeing visibility issues right now. There could be a little bit of that fog, though, looming. But we do have a dense fog advisory. That's for Loudoun County as well as Frederick County, Maryland, and parts of Montgomery County, Maryland, until 11 a.m. this morning. These areas, this is where you could get into uh, at least a quarter of a mile of visibility or less. So very low visibility for some parts of those areas. So be sure to take it slow. In terms of the shower activity right now, now, not quite as widespread as earlier this morning, but still some wet weather to talk about. Seeing some showers back over towards Winchester, just north of Front Royal. They are about to move into Loudoun County. Down towards Stafford, Fredericksburg, seeing some of that green on the map along with Southern Maryland as well. But speaking of more rain that's going to be on the way and with snow melt, we could see the possibility of some flooding back over towards Western Maryland, where we did have the most snow with the last couple of systems. So that is under a flood watch that goes until early tomorrow morning. So like I mentioned, could see some instances of flooding because of that snow melt and more rain on the way. Temperatures right now, those are on the warmer side, low to mid 40s to the north, seeing those 50s and 60s farther south. We'll continue to notice those warmer temperatures through the day today. Also warmer as we get towards tomorrow. But today, though, we'll see those scattered rain showers, some of that patchy fog, too. Looks like more rain on the way later on this evening and later on tonight before that slides out. Few lingering rain showers as we get ahead towards tomorrow morning. Otherwise, cold front clears the region. Then we are attracting temperatures still on the warmer side with a partial clearing of those skies tomorrow afternoon, allowing those temperatures to warm up. So we go from those 50s to low 60s for the day today. Tomorrow, though, much warmer, but lows tonight will hover into those upper 40s to low to mid 50s. So a warm start tomorrow before we bounce back in those 60s for much of the area. Couldn't even see a few of those 70s on the map farther south. But we're talking low to mid 60s north, upper 60s for DC. It's going to feel more like mid to late April as opposed to late January out there tomorrow afternoon when you're talking about those warm temperatures. Cold front clears the region, but the cooler air doesn't really move in until at least the weekend. Saturday, we should see high temperatures, low 50s under some partly to mainly cloudy skies. We'll see a chance for some late day showers, though, associated with that low down towards our south and west. More rain will be on the way for the second half of the weekend. So Sunday will be the wetter of the two weekend days. It will also be slightly cooler. We're back into those upper 40s for the second half of the weekend. So closer to normal on Sunday, Saturday, at, at least we're still on the milder side of things for this time of the year. Here's me the rest of that eight day outlook, drying things out to start off that next work week, but a little bit cooler, lower 40s Monday and Tuesday or mid 40s out there on Wednesday before we jump back into those low 50s as we look ahead towards next Thursday. Shanika, what's the latest on the roadways this morning? All right, let's head out to Prince George's County. You